Taliban revives mass whippings and commits first public execution. And when I say first, I'm referring to the new, you know, Taliban, not 20 years ago, just to clarify, because they definitely did it back then. Anyways, since the Taliban took over Afghanistan in 2021, punishments against those accused of various crimes have intensified. The first public execution took place on December 7th. The person who was publicly executed was convicted of a murder reportedly committed five years ago. So it was this crime or reported murder was committed when the Taliban wasn't actually in power. He was executed by the father of his murder victim who shot the murderer three times as the crowd watched. The act was possible due to the Islamic legal tenet of Qaisas, which calls for personal retribution for crimes, which is similar to the eye for an eye biblical commandment of the book of Exodus. After the public execution of the murderer, 18 men and nine women were lashed in front of the public for alleged crimes of adultery, theft, and drug offenses. Some women were even whipped for, quote unquote, running away from home. The alleged criminals were lashed around 25 to 39 times. An unspecified number of the accused were imprisoned for two years in uh, Parwan's uh, provincial capital, Tarakar. Human rights organizations and activists, including the United Nations, expressed their concerns over the public floggings and executions and demanded an immediate moratorium. However, the Taliban, no surprise, repeatedly defended their actions, saying that the executions were conducted correctly in Sharia law. Look at this guy just having his leg crossed, just watching it as if he's watching it like a Netflix. This is the craziest yeah. thing. They had officials, high-ranking officials from in, in important people from different provinces like transported in to go watch this watch the flogging and the execution hey, look how comfortable they are just watching L look at this it's the guy leaning back just like watching the flogging of a woman as if it's just another day like at least be uncomfortable about it for jesus christ like i mean even if you are fucked in the head so much that you think this is necessary can you at least be uncomfortable about the fact that this is necessary like it's not this i'm not saying it is but like can you like have you i know you lost your your mind but have you also lost your heart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. look how comfortable they are as if it's nothing there's a human that is being suffering in front of you like i mean the expectations are too low for us to think like you were you you are human enough to stand up and try to stop it and maybe i shouldn't say that because you two think maybe i'm dehumanizing like moral enough right yeah 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 that's or what you mean sympathetic enough sympathetic enough for you to get up and like stop it um but at least like god damn it like why are you watching this yeah. This is like, yeah, people, um, Sorgo is saying all these cartoonishly evil regimes. Look at, look at, this is what you represent. Like, there's a row of men just sitting and watching this. By the way, thank you for bringing this news because we shouldn't forget, like, we have been covering Iran so much. Okay. We just, we shouldn't forget the hell that Afghanistan is, right? 100%. Especially because so many, I feel like we need to, a lot of a lot more Iranians need to use the protest to highlight what's happening in Afghanistan as well, right? Mm -hmm. Because I was so shocked to see Afghani women coming in, coming out in Afghanistan and protesting in defense of Iranian women, like they're living in their own hell, and they are putting aside time to protest in defense of Iranian women, right? So that was so heartwarming to see and i just and and i just hope to see that that the iranian people do the same thing for afghanis because this is they're they're fighting the same evil mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. Afghanis- Afghani people, uh, Af- Afghanistani, I shouldn't say Afghani, Afghanistani people and Iranian people are fighting the same evil. So, yeah. Yeah. It's one thing that I was thinking about today. Um, and I think this is significant that they've gone in this direction because they were trying to hold back on this for a really long time because they were trying to in their own way pretend to be a moderate quote unquote to some extent because they were trying to maybe scrounge up some semblance of international recognition which still hasn't happened maybe some a little bit of relief sanctions maybe some aid da 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 and but now they've just decided to go in this direction clearly knowing what that's going to mean for them on the international stage so given that why do you think they decided to go in this direction because it is going to come at a cost to them i mean um even if it's evil strategically actually might make sense for them unfortunately because they're they would there's a lot of um, Taliban mem- Taliban members, right, that have fought and bled for and have gave martyrs for um, specifically an is you know an Islamic state and a, 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 sh- a shari- for Sharia, right? And there's a lot of defections from Taliban, thinking like there's a, and there's a lot of infighting within Taliban, thinking that Taliban is becoming too close to the West. Taliban is not Islamic enough. Uh, there's a lot of ISIS in Afghanistan constantly spreading the narrative that Taliban is actually ex-Muslim now, right? Taliban is not Muslim anymore, that these are murtads because they're not enforcing Islamic law, because they are negotiating with Americans or the international community, that bec- they become liberal, right? And given how much uh taliban defections for taliban going to isis has become such a um such a pain in the butt for taliban right they need to show to their members that they fought for something islamic that this is this is what this is this unites them right as much what you're watching right now this is what they could get around and be like okay this is what we fought for this is good this is what brings them together Right. Uh, okay, as a, so in a way, the, it's a very similar dynamic to how the role the executions play in Iran in terms of yes. trying to unify the hardliners. Yes. Because it's the fracturing um, of the hardliners that's the greatest threat to their stability. Yeah, exactly. You have the main thing in in Islamic theocracies. Um, Honor culture is a, the very powerful tool to turn women's bodies and the control of women women bodies an excuse to get men um, in your, require you for your support. Right. So the way again, this is not this is not done. This is not like planned. This is not done consciously, but it works so well that it's almost like if it's a conscious decision, right? So the way that it that it works is that you, when you have so much sensitivity and qayrat over the liberation of women, right? And the fact that women either being educated or having the freedom to move or the freedom to make their choices, their own choices, would lose men's control over women and men then would require state power to help them aid them with controlling the woman because the brothers and the husbands and the fathers cannot do it themselves if the state is not backing them the 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 chains would be cut and the women would have the state backing their freedom right and because this is such a sensitive issue because this is brings such dishonor and shame and challenges your identity as a man so your manhood is being measured by how much control you have over your woman 
a loose woman, a woman who is liberal enough to go do his own thing uh, in your family brings shame upon you because your manhood is now in question. And your manhood being such an important part of your identity and a loose woman being such a shame to that is like such a, such the most painful insult, more than physical pain to you, right? Um, this is why some people would even be willing to, um, you know, behead the woman who has brought shame to them like that, just even at whatever cost to them, because that will restore their honor and their their identity that they envision themselves right so with that type of honor culture you can see a state that is failing to bring people prosperity and happiness and stability will still be able to use a portion of the population to back it because at least it has a unspoken contract between the men and the government that i will aid you with controlling your woman, um, and you will basically put up with whatever nonsense that you have to because of the state, because of, you know. So there's a lot of, you know, religious conservative Iranian men or Afghanistan men that will accept living in poverty or not becoming modernized as long as the government keeps the woman in check, right, and covers them up and removes their freedom right because there's no nothing that is of higher priority to them and this is how a woman's bodies are used as a way for the government to maintain and uh, maintain control and power because of this contract that they have with conservative men and the state mm. Mm. man that's a dissertation waiting to happen oh my god Oh. Yeah, that was very well put, Armin. You should you should write an article about that. Yeah, maybe I should actually. You're right. That was yeah. I I really think you should expand on that because yeah, that's 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 really insightful. Um, I yeah, I okay. pre appreciating you know your analysis right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. Okay, so the actually, I want to touch on one thing before we go to the next story. In terms of showing support for Afghanistan, I have noticed amongst the diaspora, Iranian diaspora, there in a lot of or, um, demonstrations that I have seen, like publicized online, there have been a lot where the Af um, Afghanistani and Iranian community come together and join demonstrations and join forces. Like there was one to support female students that were both Iranian female students and Afghani girls who are trying to go to school. So I do see a lot of teamwork um, and I think that's really awesome. And uh, I think, yeah, it, it would definitely be really good to find ways to like magnify that because I think this is just my speculation. When these things happen in Afghanistan, like I don't see, I mean, except for when, you know, Kabul actually fell to the Taliban. Like, I don't see a lot of media coverage about it. I don't see a lot of outrage about it. And I speculate that that is because the Afghani or Afghanistani diaspora doesn't have as much power in the body politic of their various, you know, now new countries that they live in versus like the Iranian community. Iranian American community has a lot of clout nowadays. They have a lot of political power. They have they have reputation and a voter base that they can wield, and so they're able to use that to drum up a lot of political support and a lot of media attention. And I think that there's a discrepancy there with the community from Afghanistan and it's probably going to take a long time to be able to build up that power within the body politic and in the meantime I think it's really in incumbent upon us to help where we can lend our voice because they haven't established that own repute and clout that actually catches politicians attentions yet what do you think yeah no that makes sense um, we shouldn't. Yeah, see, Miriam is saying it took us nearly half a century to get there. Speaking about the Iranian American community, but Susanna is one hundred percent right. That's the thing; yeah. it takes a long time. But 
the people of Afghanistan are suffering like hell, so we can't wait 40 years. Well, okay, so let me just, one thing you have to consider about Afghanistan is that there are more Afghanistanis, but we shouldn't say Afghanis, okay, because there's a lot more of Afghanistan that is not Afghan. Afghan yeah, Afghani exactly. is a, Afghani is like an ethnicity. Not all of Afghanistan is Afghan, right? So yeah. um, there are more Afghanistani people who are pro-Taliban than Iranian people who are pro the Islamic Republic, okay? So that is a reality that we should not hide under the carpet, right? So that means the Afghanistan project is going to take probably a long, a much uh, longer time, right? So the when it comes to the Iranian project, the Iranian liberation project, the a lot of the bottom up work has been done, right? So you have the lid that is needs to be removed. But when it comes to again, not all, but a lot of the awareness and demand for secularism and democracy that has moved you know that we are way ahead of many places in the middle east when it comes to iran with that but afghanistan you, the, even if you change even if you get, remove the taliban you might get another taliban again in another 20 years because that's what the people want um so you might have to the work needs to be done slowly from the bottom up first before you could remove change it from the top down i mean yeah the last 20 years clearly demonstrated that yeah um yeah rashid is actually maybe has a point i mean there's no such thing as an afghan i've been told not to use the term afghani at all so i i forgot why um i know mm-hmm. afghan yeah. i in the persian show but oh, i don't know okay. why I know Afghan is a tribe and is an ethnicity, so I don't know why I shouldn't be using the word Afghani. I just know Afghanistan is more than a lot more than just Afghans. It's in, it's insanely ethnic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. I mean, you're. I mean, the the actual ethnicity is Pashtuns and Tajiks, and uh, 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 yeah, I, I, that's true. But that doesn't make. I don't. I have to look into this because the A in Pakistan is. It stands for Afghani- Af- Afghanis, doesn't it? Pakistan acronym. It's it's it was supposed to be Parsis something. Shit. Oh yeah, Af- <laughs> Afghan Afghani Afghani Afghania. So no, Afghan is a thing because how? Why do we have an A in the Pakistan? P stands for Pashtuns. A in Pakistan stands for Afghani. So there is this thing such as um, Afghanis. So pa- it's not just Pashtuns and, you know, Tajiks because, yeah. So what the, wait, so let me see. The the P stands for, no, no, I the P was... stands for Pun, Pun, Punjab. Oh. The A stands for Afghania. Afghania. Oh, so you're right. Afghania is a location. Okay. The K in Pakistan stands for Kashmir, uh, Pakistan. I don't know what the I is for. The S is for Sindh, and the Istan is for Baluchistan, which actually shows that Baluchistan mm-hmm. and Baluchis are part of Pakistan, by the way, given that the Istan in Pakistan is an acronym, is the part of, it stands for Baluchistan. So there's that. <laughs> That's a that's a burn slash callback from last week. Okay, so you're saying Afghani is all the ethnicities of Afghanistan. So Afghani is a thing then. It's a word. So if it stands for something, you don't tell me not to use it. If it's if it represents all the ethnicities of Afghanistan. Anyways. I don't know, man. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that the acronym of Pakistan was about the different religious identities. And I've seen it broken down with all the religious groups. I don't know. I didn't. There's many ways to slice a pizza, I guess. 
Um, okay, so somebody is saying the mod- that's that's the modern interpretation that Park means pure. Yes, I know. I speak Persian. I know Park means pure in Persian, okay? But usually people come up with acronyms that also could mean something. You're saying that's a modern interpretation. Do you know when Pakistan was made? There is no such thing as a non-modern Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan you're not a, lying. <laughs> you're like, that's a modern interpretation of Pakistan. Of Pak- Pakistan is a modern country. It's like a baby. It's just it's a new country. It's so a baby. There is no She's other. A baby. Interpreta- there is no other interpretation than a modern interpretation. The entire country is modern, right? Um, but yeah. So th- okay. So there's that. Also, somebody saying Istan just means place. I know, but Istan from Pakistan comes from the Istan in Baluchistan. So Istan in Baluchistan means a place, and they couldn't put. Um, the B in Pakistan, because that would be Pakibu. So that wouldn't make any sense. So they tried to took the Istan from Baluchistan. We're like, sure, this is Baluchistan. And they ended it, added it to Pakistan. Anyways. Pa- Pakistani Defense Force is saying there's ancient Pakistan. Ancient Pakistan is India. <laughs> ancient Pakistan is India, yes. Well, I mean, there's, it's not India, but the it's Indus like, okay. Valley Indus. Civilization. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it was not referred to as Pakistan. Okay, it was the yeah. same thing as the rest of India. Okay, anyways, we should move on. Yes. Um, this next news is. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, yeah, guys. Arm. So here's the thing. So, Army, what do you mean Pakistan is new? Pakistan has one of the oldest civilizations on earth. You know yes. when your country got independence, no. right? We Rashid, know that. Do I have to teach you this, Rashid. <laughs> Okay, like this is okay. Here's a here's an example, Rashid, just to make it. United States is a new country. Okay, United States is a new country, but there are ancient tribes that lived there before the United States became a country. That doesn't make United States not a new country just because the natives lived there for thousands of years before United States became a country. That doesn't make United States not a new country. United States is a new country, even though there were people living there for thousands of years before United States became a country. It's that same thing with Pakistan, okay? You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says, get our free blasphemous art.